Hi friends, welcome to Easy English channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about present continuous tense. As you see, as you can see on the board, I have written some usages of present continuous tense. Before commencing on with the channel, friends, I would like to uh, recommend you that if you are not subscribed to channel, do subscribe to Easy English channel and get the latest videos on screen. So let's start with the uh, session, friend. Today's topic is present continuous tense. So in this uh, topic, we are going to study four issues with it. It's usage, rule and question answers and some tips on it. So let's start. So as you can see on the board, we can use present continuous tense in three places. First, activity which is in progress. Activity in progress at present time, present point of time. Like she is writing, they are, they are reading, he is teaching, she is cooking. These kinds of examples work with activity which is in progress at present point of time. Second is activity about to happen. Like he is coming in five minutes, they are visiting the area in 10 minutes. These kinds of the examples you can use in present continuous tense. Then third usage is activity which is going on these days. You, when, when any guest come to your home and the first question he asks to you or uh, to your parents is like, what is your son doing now? He is working in a private farm. That means he is not working at that at the moment. That means he is working these days. What is your daughter doing? She is doing she is doing mechanical engineering. Mechan mechanical engineering. That means she is doing that course these days. So we use present continuous tense for the activity which is happening at present. Activity about to happen or activity happening these days. So these are the three places where we can use present continuous tense. Activity in progress, activity about to happen, activity going on these days. I hope friends you have understood the usages of present continuous tense. Now let's move to the rules section. We can use I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, they are, we are. Here friends, I would like to uh, give you the thumb rule. The thumb rule is that in any of the continuous tests, you have to use verb with ing. In the same manner, here also you have to use verb with ing, verb with ing. So you can frame these examples like I am running fast, you are talking to me, he is reading a book, she is cooking dinner, it is raining like cats and dogs outside, like they are working hard, we are applying for jobs. These kinds of examples you can take for present continuous tense. Now let's take negative examples. For negative examples, you have to use not with ing with verb. Negative. Not plus verb with ing. Let's take a few examples. She is cooking. She is cooking. She is not taking rest. She is not taking rest. So for negative uh, structures, you have to add not with it, with verb, with ing. She is taking rest. She is not taking rest. They are playing match. They are not playing match. He is working fast. He is not working fast. So this is how you have to prepare negative structures of present continuousness. Now let's discuss the third issue or third topic of present continuous tense is questions. Friends, as you know that we have got two types of questions. They are yes no questions and WS questions. Now look at the board. How, how we can frame examples of questions. Friends, we have got Two types of questions. Let's see this question stack. First, we have got yes/no questions, and second, we have got 
WH question. Yes, no questions like is she is she coming? The answer should be yes. She is she is coming. No. She is not coming. Friends, I would, I would like to uh, just give you a tip. Nowadays, I have found many students are using double M with ING coming. There is no double M. You have to use COM ING. That is the correct spelling of coming. Now, let's move to WS section. So, question can be filled. When is she coming? Here also, friends, I would like to remind you that people use like when, when she is coming. This is wrong structure. You should say when is she coming? When is she coming? So she is coming in the evening. In the evening. So here we are giving some information about that person. Here only we are giving answer like uh, answer in yes or in no. Like is she coming? Yes, she is coming. No, she is not coming. Just we are replying in yes or in no. Whereas in WH question, you, he is asking when is she coming? She is coming in the evening. So here you are providing some kind of information. The basic difference between yes no question and yes no WH question is that WH question provides information, whereas yes no question gives answer in yes or in no. So friends, I hope you have understood the concept of present continuous tense. We have discussed three topics in it. Let me revise once more for you. That is usage. We use present continuous tense for an activity which is in progress at present of time. Second activity which is about to happen in a couple of a couple of minutes. Activity which is happening these days. These are the three places we use present continuous tense. Then rule we have discussed. I am, you are, he is, she is, it is, they are, we are, someone is, somebody is. All these pronouns take verb with ing. Always remember thumb rule of present continuous tense. That is, we have to use verb with ing in continuous tense. And third topic we have discussed, that is questions. As you can see on the board, we have got two types of questions. Is she coming? Yes, she is coming. No, she is not coming. Or WH question. When is she coming? She is coming on the she is coming in the evening or where is she coming? She is coming in the cap. So this is this is uh, this is how you have to use the structures of present continuous tense. So friends, I hope you have understood the concept of present continuous tense. Do connect it, uh, connect with us with us to get latest videos on the screen. Very soon we would be uploading uh, videos of rest of the tenses, friends. Do write on comment section your comments, your uh, if you demand some kind of topic to be taught, just write down the topic. We will upload the videos on the uh, uh, channel. You can connect with the channel and get the videos on your demand. Thank you very much, friends. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.